Hey, Morning Star Small Groups, thanks for having me into your group. It's, uh, it's been a great start to this series, uh, both the message series on the weekends as well as this small group. Uh, our group is totally digging uh, the content in, uh, in Chip Ingram's book, The Genius of Generosity. I'm hoping that our, our weekend messages are being a blessing to you as well as we learn to turn the page. Uh, that first week we learned about turning the page and the way we see God, not as someone who wants something from us, but as some, something that, that God wants something for us, that, that God is one who, who blesses us, and, and our God is generous, uh, that, that our God is the one who gave his only, one and only Son so that we might believe in him and have abundant and eternal life, that, that God doesn't want things from us as much as he wants things for us. And then last week, Pastor Keith talked about turning the page from scarcity to abundance, from fear to to faith, and I think that's one of the main reasons that so many of us don't give is because we're just fearful. I don't think that it's because we're greedy. I think it, most of us, quite honestly, want to give. We just we wonder if we give, what's going to be left over for me? Am I going to be able to take care of my issues, my family, my problems? What if, what if, what if? And so that, that kind of scarcity and that fear kind of holds us in its grip. And yet the Bible tells us that, that perfect love, God's perfect love, drives out all fear. This past weekend in service, we, we were challenged again to, to turn the page from, from seeing everything that we have as ours to becoming stewards of what God has blessed us with. Not so much the idea of can I trust God, which we talked about in the past couple weeks, to now, can God trust me? I, I talked about the idea that the, uh, of, of Sam and I and our relationship with my tools and the idea that I love Sam using my tools and building stuff and I just have one rule. Hey, if you're going to use my tools, treat them like I would treat them. Uh, use them right, clean them up if they get dirty, put them back where they belong. And, and I have joy when he does that, and he's able to take stuff that, that I have and, and go out and do great things in, in his own life and, and help those projects that he's dreamed up come to life. And I think God has that same joy when we take the gifts that he's entrusted to us, uh, the blessings of our time, our talent, our treasure, the tools that he puts in, in our toolbox, his tools, and we go out and, and just you know let, let his purposes flow through our lives. As I was preaching this past weekend, I thought about a, uh, an illustration that I shared several years ago about a, a father who took his little girl through the drive through at McDonald's, bought her a Happy Meal. And as she opened the Happy Meal and began to, to eat the, 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 the little burger and, and, and fries in the uh, car, the dad reached back and said, hey, can I, uh, can I have a French fry? And she said, no, daddy, these are my fries. And the dad's like, your fries? You didn't buy those fries. I bought those fries. And he's like, you know what? She didn't realize that, that I bought the fries. And what's more, if she gave away all her fries, if I took every one of them, or if she dropped them or spilled them on the floor of the car, I had the means to go back and buy her all the fries that she could ever eat. Not just a Happy Meal fry, but a medium or, or large, or, or maybe even when they used to have those super-sized fries. See, that's who our God is. Our God blesses us. And, and sometimes we get so consumed with, with holding on to, to what we have that, that we forget that everything we have comes as a, as a gift from Him. And, and, and if we give some of that away, our God has the ability to provide, that He provides for our every need, and also, he enriches us, he makes us rich in every way so we can, in turn, be generous on every single occasion. See, there's so many areas of our life that God wants us to get this right in, that every area of our life we become a steward because God has blessed us with everything that we have, not just our finances, but our very life, our marriage, our family, our health, um, just every area of our life. And so we have to ask ourselves, are we being good stewards? Uh, can God trust us to take the, the blessings that he's given us and, and use a portion of those to be a blessing to others? So as you uh, start your small group this week, uh, I would encourage you to think about something that uh, maybe your dad had that you uh, borrowed, or, or maybe it's something that your mom or dad had that, man, they would not let you touch, and, and, and how that 
kind of affected you and, and how that maybe is translated to your view of God and, and the blessings that, that he's poured out and, and bestowed on you. And, and, and are you seeing that every, every gift comes from your heavenly father, every good gift comes from him? And then are you being trustworthy? What is that next step that you need to take in showing God that you are indeed trustworthy with all the blessings